Hello from COVID Japan. My name is Michael, CEO of Magic Multimedia, edius.net. And with me today is Katsushi Takauchi, the boss of the edius team here in Kobe. And the official name is Vice President, Chris Valley Vice President for Editing Systems. Yes. yes. Um, so edius 11 has been released last uh, yeah, October. And um, how have the, the first months of the release been? Uh, the uh, Edis 11 was accepted very well by, by the customers uh, at, at the time of the release. So uh, I'm, I was very happy uh, having the new features and the new database systems, including Edis 11. Mm -hmm. But there also were some reports of uh, problems. Yes, I understand the problems for the feature sets and also the bugs and the including the performance issues. So uh, our team uh, is uh, getting the support uh, report from the uh, um, our uh, support team and also including MMM it really helps us uh, for the uh, bug report. So uh, our team, in engineering team, is actively working on uh, those issues, uh, taking them, uh, all of them seriously and uh, fixing many of the problems in the releases. For every, every three, three weeks, we are releasing the new versions. Yeah. So uh, Edis is getting much better than before. And, uh, but uh, still, I, I understand we still have the problem uh, in some areas, especially for the performance. Uh, our team is actively working on that as a, a highest priority to improve the performance for Edis 11. So that will be fixed uh, in, in coming months. Okay, thank you very much. And some additional news from Alex uh, Kataoka regarding the speed. Alex, I would like to ask you regarding speed so and performance of Edius 11. Um, what will we see here for development uh, in the near future? So uh, after the mentioned changes in the structure of Edius uh, supporting the new database structure, the Chorus Hub, um, uh, we have been seeing some decrease in the performance. So right now we're uh, moving on to uh, fix the issues on trying to get back to the speed performance where we used to be, but with still sustaining the new architecture and moving on to support new functionalities that can be provided with the new platform. So you say that basically uh, you needed to go the step uh, to the database structure, and the first step was like to to have the database and everything running, and now it's the time to yeah, bring back uh, the the full speed, uh, which we also could see that in Edius um, eleven point ten there is already this GPU decoding, mm -hmm. um, this acceleration for NVIDIA hardware uh, integrated, which gives. Uh, definite massive um, yeah, additional speed and uh, and performance plus um, so but we will see that also like in in operation in in edus yes that's yeah. correct so with the new architecture that gives us a much broader possibility to integrate better with other partner applications and also with other like cloud ai engines and things like that that would allow more broader workflow to the end customer. So while we provide that new capabilities, those new capabilities, we also would like to provide the better, um, how do you say, performance on the individual um, editing uh, workflows. And um, when when it comes to uh, this this new structure with the database, you also change something with um, yeah the, the kind how the the windows are integrated in Edius eleven. What can you tell us about that? Yes, a lot of the new components like the bin, the uh, the job list, um, uh, how do you say, uh, the job list, um, also the new mink bin, they're all designed uh, using HTML5. Okay. So you might see some functions like being able to stretch the images using the mouse wheel and sorts, but that's sort of the benefit of using it. But the reason um, we implemented uh, the new um, uh, UI using HTML5 was to also show to our partners, show to people who are trying to integrate functions into EDIUS that they can write those features using HTML5 and integrate it easily with EDIUS. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, that's also something we did. Our EDUSnet team uh, tried it ourselves and made a HTML5 uh, 
uh, window with additional functions. So we hope also to bring some additional tools and the new feature to Edius 11. And um, obviously we are not the only ones, also existing partners and system integrators will come up uh, with um, deeper integration. Yes, like the new integrated uh, template bin for this title. That's mm -hmm. also designed using HTML5 and integrated into Edius. Yeah. yeah, this was also a new feature for Edius 11. So we see uh, this new platform allows us more possibilities and in the future we will see even more. And uh, yeah, uh, it's not only possibilities and features, it's now also about speed. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> so we will continue to improve. By but the whole reason we moved to this new structure was to provide uh, the essential capabilities to integrate EDIUS into broader workflows. So uh, definitely it's uh, the support for this new database architecture. It's not only for like big customers or big broadcast stations, but it's also for the individual editor who would definitely need these types of like background processing, AI integration. Those features can now be much more easily integrated by with this new architecture. And so the whole uh, new structure will allow much faster workflow, which something used to take hours and hours to do by doing by hand, can be automated in the cloud, integrated to your editing workflow. That kind of background uh, ways to speed up your whole workflow um, we hope to provide with this new EDIUS architecture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a preview to those features we have already done in an additional video where we show the AI services or examples for AI services delivered together with EDIUS 11 or um, which are prepared um, to be released in the, uh, in the future. So thank you, Alex, for your time and have a great day. <laughs> thank you.